you doing today? This is Rich from behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is David Elsley, the CEO of Cardio Therapeutics. How are you doing today, David? I'm doing great. Uh, good afternoon. And thanks for having us. My pleasure. Great to have you here. And it's been a very exciting couple months for Cardio Therapeutics. What have you guys been up to over the last little while? Well, I think like all companies around the world, we're all learning to adjust to this global pandemic we're all living with. Um, fortunately for Cardiol, we're part of the pharmaceutical industry. We're developing important medicines for heart disease. And as a result of our pharmaceutical alliances, all of which are part of essential services, we have fortunately been not uh, adversely impacted by this. Uh, in fact, we have migrated certain of our research interests to hopefully uh, improve outcomes uh, in COVID-19 patients who are at risk for uh, very high risk for mortality and serious consequences of COVID because of their prior history of cardiovascular disease. And we've developed a unique cardioprotective uh, formulation of an important medicine that we believe can really make a change in these people's lives and heart failure patients' lives in general. Now you were covered by Raymond James and Helta Corp. And we have heard cardio referred to as the GW Pharma of the heart. How do you feel about that comparison? I think it's an appropriate characterization. I mean, GW Pharma uh, did a great service to uh, pediatric patients around the world or children around the world who suffer from rare forms of pediatric epilepsy that can cause brain damage. This has always been a poorly served disease and uh, they've developed a oral cannabidiol formulation that has dramatically improved the lives of those kids. Uh, we at Cardiol uh, see the opportunity to follow in their path and develop actually a larger opportunity around our cannabidiol formulation, which is essentially chemically identical to GW Pharma's with a slightly higher level of purity and stability. But we're targeting ours at a very important area of heart disease. Uh, which remains the leading cause of sudden cardiac death in children and in people under the age of 35. So this is a disease called acute myocarditis. It's caused by a virus. The prevalence of this disease is now increasing because the COVID virus is also now causing this disease. And we see an opportunity to significantly improve the lives of those patients through the innovations that we're developing here at Cardio. That's really good work that you guys are doing. Walk us through Cardio's clinical and commercial strategy. This is very unusual aspect to your investment thesis. Uh, we're essentially um, a, a hybrid company. Uh, we have focused on the development of heart medicines for over 30 years. What led us into the development of uh, cannabidiol, one of the cannabinoids, uh, pharmaceutically for the treatment of heart disease was a discovery made at the National Institute of Health uh, many years ago, uh, back in 2011, uh, that basically demonstrated the ability of CBD or cannabidiol to reverse fibrosis and inflammation in the heart. That fascinated us as uh, specialists in the area of heart failure medicine, and we decided to develop a pharmaceutical program around that to develop new and improved ways to reverse inflammation which are one of the primary drivers of the progression of heart failure, which remains the leading cause of death and disability in the Western world. And I think what makes Cardiol unique is notwithstanding our focus on developing these high value important medicines for heart disease, because Canada has basically passed legislation to enable cannabinoid based medicines to become available to patients nationwide. We've also partnered with one of the most respected distributors of medicines in our country, which is Shoppers Drug Mart, that dominate the Canadian pharmacy landscape to make our medicine available for all the reasons people are currently using uh, CBD or cannabidiol today, including uh, anxiety, depression, uh, sleep deprivation, and in the case of uh, severe pediatric uh, conditions such as uh, potentially epilepsy, as well as autism spectrum where it's also being studied. Now we're in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic. It was recently announced that Cardiol has filed an international patent application covering the use of COVID-19 patients with CBD. What can you tell us about the exciting new development? Well, we filed that patent application based on data that, we, that was accepted for presentation at the virtual sessions of the American College of Cardiology uh, that were 
presented uh, this past March for the first time in history virtually because of the pandemic. Uh, the data that was accepted basically demonstrated that our cannabidiol formulation, our pure pharmaceutically produced CBD formulation, uh, per reversed fibrotic processes in the heart and actually protected the heart against inflammatory insult. And we now know that not only is COVID-19 causing severe respiratory issues, but it's also causing a massive inflammatory response which can attack cardiac tissue and the vascular system in general and lead to severe consequences, including death. And we see a unique opportunity in the context of COVID-19 to study our cardioprotective medicine to insulate or protect patients who are most vulnerable to this virus, which is essentially any patient with a prior history of cardiovascular disease or associated syndromes like conditions like diabetes. We know that those patients have uh, exponentially higher risk for mortality and poor outcomes if they have that prior history of cardiovascular disease. And we see an opportunity to pre-treat those patients with our formulation to provide a cardioprotective uh, benefit potentially to basically insulate them against those poor outcomes. Wow, this is great what you guys are doing. When can viewers expect the clinical programs targeted at COVID-19 to begin? Uh, we're currently in discussions uh, with regulators, uh, major regulators uh, internationally uh, in order to uh, explore the possibility of conducting a clinical study to study the impact of our medicine to provide a cardioprotective patient, uh, to provide a cardioprotective benefit to COVID-19 patients. Uh, we're imminently starting a phase one clinical trial, which is a, typically a precursor into phase two studies, which we plan to be in in areas of heart failure medicine by the end of the year. But possibly this will also lead us into important work in COVID-19 where we can study uh, forms of heart failure that resemble myocarditis and other types of heart failure caused by the presence of the COVID virus and the immune response to that virus. It's a very rare opportunity uh, that we can participate possibly in improving um, the treatment options for patients uh, with this cardiovascular background uh, that currently are very vulnerable to, uh, to death as a result of this, my, of this virus. Now in March, you guys signed a monumental deal with Chopper's Drug Mart, congratulations. You. Can you tell us a little bit more about this exclusive agreement? Uh, we spent several months, uh, almost a year negotiating with Chopper's Drug Mart, a very important agreement that we are now preparing to activate by making our medicine available to patients in Canada who are in desperate need of a formulation that we've developed <clears throat> that is quite unique to Cardiol, which is a cannabidiol formulation with essentially indetectable levels of THC or no THC. And that's important because we know that THC can adversely influence brain development in young people, people under the age of 25, so much so that pediatricians and the College of Physicians uh, mandate that physicians not prescribe THC to any patient under the age of 25. But the fastest growing segment of the $1.2 billion medicinal cannabinoid market in Canada is people over the age of 65 who can have comorbidities, other diseases, beyond other medications that can lead to an intoxication effect when THC is mixed with those other medications and that background of uh, other disease states. And so even that patient population could significantly benefit from a THC-free formulation. But unfortunately in Canada, that formulation is not available. We plan to be the first to introduce it. We've selected the most respected, uh, most trusted distribution network in the country of Canada, a brand that is known by all Canadians, which is Shoppers Drug Mart, to introduce this. And we're in the final stages of preparing for that commercial launch at present. And then we'll get out there and we'll educate the pediatricians that deal with people under the age of 25. And we'll educate uh, gerontologists on the availability of this formulation that has no psychoactivity, no ability to cause intoxication. When can viewers expect to see your products in Shoppers Drug Mart pharmacies? 
Well, Shoppers Drug Mart or medical cannabis by shoppers currently distribute uh, only by prescription or only by authorization. So you require an interface with a physician to get an authorization or a prescription for cannabinoids, medically speaking, in Canada. Uh, medical cannabis by Shoppers Drug Mart only make it available online at present, as do all uh, medical outlets to access uh, prescription cannabinoids. And they are becoming the dominant distributor in this country for medicinal cannabinoids. The other reason I should have mentioned earlier that we select the shoppers is they're solely focused on medical cannabinoids. They have nothing to do with the recreational side. We as a cardiovascular heart disease company also have nothing to do with that aspect of cannabinoids. We're simply isolating the medical benefits of a non-psychoactive, non-addictive form of cannabinoids that we believe can do a lot of medical good in cardiology and a number of other areas of medicine. And we're very pleased that we were able to align this, this uh, development effort with a brand that is trusted for medicine in Canada for many years by all Canadians. And we're on the, in the 11th hour of getting ready to make this medicine available to Canadians. That's great. We're going to be watching very closely. And what upcoming milestones can investors expect from Cardio this year? I think we have a very um, interesting development pipeline uh, that is going to improve medicine uh, ultimately for millions of people around the world. Uh, we are about to embark upon a phase one clinical trial in up to 60 patients. This is a very fast clinical trial activity. It'll last 60 to 90 days. Uh, the purpose of that study is to look at blood levels of our products so we can optimize the dosing regimen for our important trials that we plan to initiate by the end of the year or early in 2021. Uh, it's focused on important areas of heart failure medicine, including acute myocarditis, which is the leading cause of sudden cardiac death in people under the age of 30 and uh, possibly a cardio protection program in COVID-19 would be initiated in parallel with that. And then we're also in um, advancing new important ways to deliver this medicine directly to the heart for the long-term treatment and care of chronic heart failure patients, which by any measure remains one of the largest medical problems facing the developed world. It is an epidemic unto itself. It's probably the second largest disease next only to diabetes, affecting 6 million people in North America and remaining a leading cause of death and the number one reason people are hospitalized, driving about $30 billion in healthcare expenditures. So we plan to advance a new important way to deliver uh, this cannabidiol medicine directly to cardiac tissue with a view to improving the standard of care for those patients who are most vulnerable to uh, this epidemic heart failure. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with you? Uh, I think the, the most informative um, uh, electronic uh, methodology would be to visit our website at cardiolrx.com or feel free to contact our investor relations department and they'd be happy to address any questions or provide further information on the company. Well, David, thank you so much for your time today. We wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. A lot of great work you guys are doing, not just for heart disease, but for COVID-19. So congratulations on all your success. This is David Elsley, the CEO of Cardial Therapeutics. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for joining us, David. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have yourself a nice day. Thanks.